If you guys follow me on Instagram stories and Snapchat, you know I eat hummus by the bucket full. And I always make it from scratch so I can just keep it in my fridge and then snack on it whenever the moment strikes. And today I'm gonna walk you through my tips and tricks for making the most perfect hummus. First, let's talk chickpeas. So. I like to take a little bit of a shortcut from the store and just buy them in the can. You also could buy them, you know, dry and cook them yourself, but I'm just, we're just going for it. So chickpeas come with a little bit of a skin, which you'll be able to see right here. That is what we kind of want to get rid of. And this is the number one tip for making the best hummus ever. You want to get rid of this because this doesn't add any flavor. It's just like extra like fluff. So just pop the lid off of our Vitamix. I upgraded mine, it's no longer the copper one, now I have a shiny white one. Very excited about life. And we're just gonna go through all these chickpeas, just take your thumbs, peel them off. It's best to do it with two hands, so you can do two at a time. And just pop them in. We're gonna go through the whole batch. Trust me, like if you have kids, get them involved. This is gonna make all the difference in the world. I pinky promise. And then our chickpeas are all in our blender, and this is where all the magic happens. To make the perfect hummus, you just need five ingredients. So the chickpeas are already in there. We're gonna pour in some tahini and just about a half a cup, we'll just pour that right on in. Then we're gonna put in a little bit of salt and I'm using Maldon sea salt because it's what I always do. Then we're just gonna grab a little juicer. Lemon juice is key in hummus. I like to add one lemon to start, but we might need to add a little bit more later. So always buy a little extra and we'll just juice that right into our Vitamix, okay? And then the last piece for right now is some garlic. And this is just a really basic hummus. You could also, I'm gonna show you at the end how to jazz this up. Hold on, I'll get there, I get really excited. Just peel your garlic off. All right, this is gonna get popped in. Then we're just gonna pop the lid on, just like this. We're just gonna turn our Vitamix on and I am obsessed with this in my morning smoothie routine because you can just put the smoothie program on and press go and your smoothie's done. You can like walk away and go brush your teeth, whatever you have to do. But for hummus, I'm just gonna turn it on one and we're gonna press go and as it kind of picks, we're gonna pick up some speed. All right, I'm just gonna pause this for a second because this is one of my other favorite things about this. You can just take the lid plug right out. And for hummus, you want it to be super creamy so you can drizzle in a little bit of extra olive oil. I like to use water because we are not trying to add more calories here. So we'll just add like a tablespoon at a time, put the lid plug back on, and press go. All right. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of the container, and then blend for a couple more seconds, and then it's game time. Okay, so that was basic hummus 101. I'm gonna spoon a couple spoonfuls into my serving platter, and then I'm gonna show you how to jazz it up. And that way you get all the bang for your buck. You can make two kinds of hummus, so if you have a husband or a partner or a friend like me who's like, I don't wanna eat the same thing every day, you're not, and you just meal prep once, and you have two things, two dishes. All right, and so we'll just leave this right here for a second. And I have, I made a little antipasti salad yesterday for dinner, and I just have some leftover artichoke hearts and a roasted red pepper that I did just on the stove. I'm gonna dump those right into the container, pop the lid back on, and turn it back on. Oh. I just had a brilliant idea. I'm gonna add some smoked paprika too. Hold on. That was a genius last minute addition. I'm very glad I thought of it. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of smoked paprika right into the blender to give it a little bit more smoky flavor. Perfect. I mean, it's gorgeous, right? You would never know it was just one recipe, two ways. So we'll put that into our container. So we have our two kinds of hummus ready to go. Our plain and then our roasted red pepper artichoke smoked paprika hummus. We're just gonna put that in the middle of a serving platter. Then I have some baby carrots. And I like to prep all my vegetables ahead of time, like on a Sunday or something, so I can just take them for the week and grab them and go. So I would do, I would chop some peppers, some cucumbers, you could do radishes, cauliflower, broccoli, whatever you kind of like eating with your hummus. You could also do uh, crackers. Mm. 
And there you have it. Hummus two ways, which we weren't even planning on doing, plus all the veggies. So this is kind of how I meal prep on a Sunday. And don't mind me while I just try a little bit right now. Mm, that smoked paprika is everything. Oh my gosh, that should be a new staple in all of hummus. You can grab the full recipe for this on whatsgobbycooking.com.